A couple years ago, my uh, son, my oldest son, who's 11 now, uh, he's still in a modeling agency, and um, you know we're originally Indian, or India, and uh, from India, but uh, grew up in this country here, and uh, so he speaks our native language as well as English, and a uh, local writer director who was doing an independent film, his name is Paul Wendell, um, found him on the website of the modeling agency and requested that see if he would want to audition for a movie he was making. Roko Shasha. But what happened was they were auditioning the parents' role and they really couldn't find the right fit for him. These were, the, the movie was going to be filmed overnight, several nights in a row, and so we would have had to be there anyway, my wife and I. And so uh, he asked us if we'd want to audition, which we had never done any any um, acting before. And we said, look, we're not really actors. And, and his, you know, different people have different opinions on how to act. There's method acting and there's different schools of acting. And his opinion was you just have to be as natural as you can in front of the camera. And I think what comes through in the film, which I don't recognize because I cringe every time I see myself, but what he says is it really looks like your family because you are a family. And that was the whole thing. He says, I've shown this to a lot of people and they really like this section of you guys because it really feels like it's natural. And that's really what it's all about is how can you be natural in front of the camera? And I, you know, we're hoping we can be. Obviously, it's not my voice, it's not my words, it's not my accent and so forth. But, um, you know, I think your personality still comes through and your sort of family dynamic still comes through because those are, that's what you do every day. So in that respect, it was easy. And the film is called uh, Bedlam Street. Uh, what it is, it's a very gritty sort of urban drama where, uh, similar to the movie Crash, where they have different scenes of different people's stories and all kind of comes together at a convenience store where the people are kind of entering. I like one hundred one dollar scratch off tickets. One hundred? Well it is Christmas. So the, um, the people we play are one basically quarter of the film. You know, we're one of the stories that, that uh, the narrative thread of the movie kind of runs through. And we are uh, owners uh, of a convenience store with our son. We actually live in the store as well. We're kind of down on our luck. Uh, we're really trying to make it. My character is a very upbeat guy who's trying to, you know, keep things kind of going for the family. Come on, Muna, let's see what the big deal is with this Christmas anyway. The whole film, everybody's got their problems. I mean, it's not like a real easy... Uh, sunshiny Disney film. So we got the chance to do this, which was a great experience, um, not only kind of understanding how films are made uh, and how difficult it is to kind of get through all that. Literally, like you see in, in the in shows, it's take 31, take 32, let's do it from this angle, let's do it from this angle. So it was a long road. Uh, and we're not actors, so we're hoping that it's not awful, but we don't know. We've seen very bits and pieces of it. So August 17th, they're going to play it on the big screen on the big theater, the 450-seater at the Tivoli. Uh, so we're excited to see what it comes out like.